Welcome back, Wolfpack. Verlos here, and this is how to use Thunderous. Ah, so another genie Pokemon. Yes, I know it's a force of nature, but that's an old dude riding a cloud. That's a genie. Anyways, when we look at the stats, it's going to be the same as Tornadus. Yep, that's all right. That makes my job easy, so I just get to say the same things. All right, we have 111 on speed. We're going to outspeed a lot of things, but not everything. 125 on special attack means we get to hurt a lot of things, but we also are going to be pretty average on our defenses and hit points. 79 hit points with the 70 and 80 defense and special defense, that means it's not going to be that great. We're going to take some neutral hit threat, and if we get hit by a super, that could just be a straight up KO right there. Speaking of super effective hits, we are going to be an electric flying typing. Okay, good. I was starting to get scared there because the pure flying typing creeps me out. My whole generational idea of growing up with Pokemon has not taught me to get ready for a pure flying typing, but that doesn't matter. Thunderous going to be electric and flying, and that means we only have two weaknesses, ice and rock. That's it. If you don't hit Thunderous with that, could have a bad time. We also get a lot of resistances, and we still have the ground immunity from that flying. So, let's go and hop into Pokemon Showdown. Thunderous, mostly known as a single battle nasty plot subs to Pokemon that wants to tear you apart. This Pokemon is absolutely ferocious because you lead with it and then, well, you put your opponent in a bad spot. A lot of times they're going to be there for setup and not dealing with sweeper Pokemon, so you get a free substitute. After that, you get free nasty plot. If they switch out or if they try to break your substitute, well, now you just have a lot of damage advantage on them and they're pretty much going to have to lose a Pokemon or causing your opponent to switch into a Pokemon that they just can go without to sacrifice to break the substitute. Then you just have Thunderbolt and Hidden Power Ice. Bolt Beam, as it is called, is really awesome. So let's go and pull up Pokemon DB. If we have an Electric type and an Ice type, we only have five not very effective hits, and one, and most of them are going to be the same evolutionary family, and the other ones are going to be Rotom forms. So for the most part, just going to be Magnezone and Rotom that you're going to be resisted by, but you do have neutral hits on a lot, which means that Nasty Plot Thunderbolt is going to be your ultimate bread and butter and just tons of damage with that Life Orb while also outspeeding everything. With this, that means Timid Nature, high speed, high special attack, and then you win. Now, Thunderous is a legendary Pokemon, so Hidden Power might be hard to come by. If that is the case, we get Dark Pulse, we get Psychic. We have an eclectic assortment of moves. Flash Cannon, Focus Blast, Grass Knot, that's what we have. So you can choose your pick from there if you don't want to be grinding for Hidden Power. As for other Thunderous sets, you might just see full offense. That it comes in and it Thunderbolts and it Thunderbolts and it goes for Chaos. Because if you think about it, if the substitute setup doesn't work out, like they're just going to be pressuring you down with damage, you don't get a lot of chances to reliably set up that nasty plot. With this, if you see that opportunity, you can throw out Thunder Wave, at least reduce some of their power, but not have as much of an advantage as a sub nasty plot. They just have damage for all the other situations. So if we think about it, nasty plot is going to double your special attack. Using two Thunderbolts is effectively the same thing. So it's going to give you that more upfront threat. All right, you survive a hit, boom, two Thunderbolts, that's a KO. Now you're outspeeding for damage, and you still got that versatility of an extra move and just whatever else you can do. If you feel you're about to be knocked out and you can't really do anything about it, you at least get to Thunder Wave a big offensive threat on your opponent, and that's kind of it. Then we get more coverage. So Thunderbolt, Grass Knot, Flash Cannon, those are going to be the simple ones, and again, in Hidden Power of your choice. Sometimes you might even see the Hidden Power Fire gets really nice hits on that Caesar. And yeah, that's that's what we're dealing with. So I don't really know what else to say about this. You know, it's going to be generic. All right, I have a good amount of speed, a high amount of special attack. I'm life orbing with all sorts of coverage, and we're going to damage. So Thunderous starts to get more complex when we bring it into the double battle realm. Double battle, it can do a lot of different things. You have taunt. So you have a ridiculously fast shutdown on that taunt. And if you're not playing for damage, you're just playing to be a healthy frustration, it actually works out pretty well. 125 base special attack means we can do decent damage, we're not like overwhelmingly powerful, but we can still threaten some damage with it while also having good amount of hit point investment and then maxing out our speed. So we outspeed for damage, we outspeed with taunt, we outspeed with all sorts of shenanigans, and we just go for the ultimate shutdown. If they have any setup Pokemon on their side of the field, the only thing that has a faster prankster than you is going to be a Whimsicott with taunt. So that's the only taunt wars you might see. Other than that, you have a really, really safe time against any of your opponent's setup. So you get to shut down that down. Thunder Wave uh, lowers your opponent's sweeping power, so you just taunt one of their setups, Thunder Wave both opponents, and you just start throwing out Discharge, Put a ground type next to the Thunderous and you're good to go. Garchomp is pretty common because your Earthquake doesn't affect Thunderous, but it hurts your opponents, and then you're shutting down any setup that's trying to hurt your ground type Pokemon. That's a really good synergy that Thunderous tends to have. Flash Cannon hits fairies or whatever other coverage that you want. If you have Hidden Power Ice, that's going to threaten other Garchomps. 
and other just four times weak dragon flying -y things that want to take damage. Like, you start to see a lot more Salamence in double battles, so Thunderous is also going to have good damage on these Salamence. When it comes to other things that Thunderous can do, uh, here's a small list. Like, I'm just mentioning the Psychic, fo Focus Blast, whatever coverage you want. But it also gets access to Volt Switch and Swagger. So if you want to be a stupid, utter annoyance in double battles or even single battles, you can just throw out the Swagger. So Swagger into setup can be pretty hilarious, just discharge Swagger. Why not? Then if you see a special attacking Pokemon that you really want to shut down, Thunder Wave, Swagger it, boom, taunt the other one, boom. Now you have damage coming across, they might have an immobile Pokemon that's hitting themselves, and you're still threatening discharge damage, which could be alright. And the same goes with like Volt Switch. You can use Volt Switch in this offensive set right here, that if you're not really sure and you don't want to stay in for too much damage, you can just kind of run the Volt Switch instead of Thunder Wave. So if you are threatened in a position where you might get KO'd, well, Volt Switch instead, now you're getting some damage instead of a free switch, going to something that resists the move that was going to knock you out, and you bring back in Thunderous for more damage. So Thunderous plays around really well like that, and it can also do some really cool things with Rain. So Thunderous, Electric type Pokemon, gets Thunder, using Thunder while setting up a Rain Dance. That's kind of absurd. So Prankster Rain Dance, and then you just go for huge offensive Thunder pressure. That's gonna be really nice. So Swift Swim Pokemon next to you is going to be huge. And just the amount of damage from a Thunder. That's 110 power, can't miss in rain level of shenanigans. So it's gonna go pretty well with this. You max out speed, go Timid Nature with that special attack. Boom, and now whatever other Pokemon has Swift Swim or other Thunder damage potential is going to be pretty nice. With this, you can run Life Orb to secure one hit KOs on that Thunder, or you can even go for the Focus Sash. That way, you set up Rain Dance, you take a hit, you survive it, and now you're still pressuring that Thunder, so it's not going to leave you too vulnerable to be running the Focus Sash. So it's Rain stuff. Yeah, uh, you can pair it with all kinds of Pokemon and get all kinds of results. So that's kind of it. That Thunderous, it's mostly going to be one of the nastiest taunters and one of the most insane setup Pokemon that can work in singles and doubles. And if you find a good partner for it in rain, it's pretty terrifying. So if you guys enjoyed the video, that's how you use Thunderous, and I hope you all have a nice day. Thank you for watching.